Uh -huh. She's changing the radio or she's listening to the radio. She's Good evening, the... everybody. Hmm. Good evening, Hello, teacher. Good evening, Rene. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening, Amilcar. Good evening Denis. Good evening. Good evening, Lila. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, Juan. Good evening. Good evening, Karen. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. So today is uh, one of our last classes, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Because tomorrow we are going to finish the model and we are going to have a review of our final exam, okay? So I okay. want to congratulate you and encourage you to complete the platform okay. because remember that this is the main requirement for you to continue in the next module, okay? okay. So I just want to make sure that you already did it and that we are in the same, same page and that by Friday, you will complete the midterm exam, okay? I will be pending, okay. I, I will be waiting, and I will be pending in order to see if you need support to help you, okay? Um, okay. So, let me open the platform and show you the, the part of the class we are going to work today. Okay, okay. Perfect. So uh, we are going to let me go back in order to show you the the main objective. Voy a ponerle mute para que no por el incremento de la transmisión del video. Okay, I'm going to mute you in order that we can listen well each other. Le voy a poner el mute a todos para que nos podamos escuchar bien. And later, if you have any interaction, please open your mic. Okay, for the 5.8 lesson objective, it says that by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous uh, WH questions. Additionally, you will practice this in a conversation between, between a boy and uh, his mother, which illustrate WH questions in context, okay? So we are going to study this. And we are going to see the difference between yes, no, uh, WH questions, right? Present continuous with WH question and present continuous with uh, yes, no questions too. Okay, so in a platform, you have the 5.9 present continuous WH questions. So you have to go to listen and to watch the video. And then you go to the, um, to the knowledge check. In here, I would like to know uh, if you finally could answer correctly uh, this. Me gustaría saber si todo mundo logró contestar bien esto. O si todavía hay alguien que tiene dificultad, porque había alguien que tenía problemas con su entón. O ya todo el mundo resolvió. Yo lo resolví, teacher. Lo logró resolver. Sí, okay. lo logré resolver. Solo una pendiente tengo. Ok, ahorita vamos a llegar por ahí. Ok, okay vamos a ver. Nobody pending with this? No hay nadie pendiente con esto? Ok, so let's advance. Avancemos. In the 5.11, uh, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different activities. Ok? Uh, so, uh, we are going to um, cover this. And uh, in this case, we are talking about activities people is doing right now. For example, he's playing tennis, uh, he's riding a bike, he's running, he's swimming, she's taking a walk, they are dancing, she's driving, they are going to the movies, he's shopping, she's reading, she's studying, he's watching television. Okay, so that's the video about describing what the people is doing in that moment. So, I think this is the one that you have problems, right? Pienso que este es en el que han tenido algunas dificultades, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let us, let us listen. Vamos a... Déjeme... Co um, vamos a parar. Y vamos a tratar de compartir nuevamente. Okay, I have here, so let me, okay, I, I haven't do, downloaded, so let me share again. Vamos a compartir de nuevo. 
with the sound. I'm going to share computer sound and then we are going to listen, okay? So let's, let's listen. Yeah, Answer questions. Can you listen? Pueden escuchar el audio? Yes, teacher. Each sound. One. Two. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. And what do you think about the first sound? ¿Qué piensan del primer sonido? What do you think what's Mary doing? ¿Qué creen ustedes que está haciendo Mary? Uh, she's driving. Okay, driving. she's driving. Okay, what about the second sound? The water, right? Do you remember the water? The water sound? She is swimming. Swimming, okay. And number three, like in a restaurant. She is uh, eating. eating. Eating, right? Okay, and the fourth. Uh, I think she is changing the radio, but don't function for me. No, it's watching TV or watching television. Watching okay? television. Yes. The next is she's dancing, and the last one, and the next is right, she's riding a bike, and finally she's playing tennis. So let me show you. Okay, it is a then, radio. And no, it's not a radio, it's a TV. Let me oh show you. Oh my okay? god. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a good, a good exercise, okay? Okay, can you watch my screen? Pueden ver mi pantalla? Yes. Okay, yes, in the first, yes. in the first, <laughs> you can write, you can, you can write, she's driving, vea, tenemos el apostrofe, o eh, she's driving con un punto, and al final, with a dot, or full, she is driving, right, con punto o sin punto, o simplemente driving, or driving con initial capital, initial, inicial mayúscula, Driving, compunto, uh, driving. That's, are the, those, all those are the possible answers. Todas esas son las posibles respuestas. In the number two, uh, swimming, or she is swimming, she's. con un punto al final. She is swimming, sin punto. Uh, she's swimming, con contracted, uh, the verb be with the subject. Okay? That's the, the possible answers. And the number three, She's eating, right? You can write it with the contraction or in a full form, she is eating or just eating, right? In the fourth sound, which is the one that uh, there was a problem uh, for you, my dear Amilka, is she's watching television or she's yes. watching TV, right? Yes, teacher. Thank or, you. or even you can, yeah, you're welcome. Or even you can write, she's watching uh, TV with dots or with no, that, without dots, okay? Okay. And, and the fifth is she's dancing or she is dancing, right? The sixth sound, 
she's riding a bike or um, in a full form, she is riding a bike or just riding a bicycle, okay? I mean, no, all of them have she's riding a bicycle, yeah. Uh, the seventh sound is she's playing tennis, right? Or simply playing tennis, right? So all of those are the possible answers. Todas esas son las posibles respuestas, ¿verdad? Teacher. Adelante, go ahead. Good, good night. I have a question. Yes, please, go ahead. Eh, es que me conecté tarde, perdón. Um, don't, don't worry. El, el puntito al final de la oración, ¿es que es lo que significa? Eh, no, el puntito al final de la oración. No, no, no. Ah. Eh, el puntito que está en las respuestas. Sí, es que veo que unos llevan punto, o sea, es lo mismo, solo que al final lleva un punto. Y no es, sé. es lo mismo, le explico. Lo que pasa es que lo que le está diciendo es que usted puede, uh -huh. que todas esas son respuestas válidas. ¿Sí? Ah, son usted puede, ajá, usted puede decir, she's, escribir, she's driving con el apóstrofe aquí. Ahora, aclaro que este apóstrofe sí debe ser el, el símbolo de apóstrofe correcto, porque uh -huh. si usted le pone tilde, le va a dar error. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. O puede, ajá, y puede dejarlo sin punto al final o puede ponerle punto. De igual manera la plataforma se lo toma bien. O puede escribirlo sin la contracción, de manera completa, she is driving, con punto, ¿verdad? Eh, she is driving sin punto, aquí hay un errorcito porque lleva punto, no debería llevar. O simplemente driving, con todas eh, small letters, con todas minúsculas, driving, With initial capital, con inicial mayúscula. Recuerden que las mayúsculas se dicen capital letters y las minúsculas se dicen small letters. ¿Ok? okay. Eh, all small, todas minúsculas, with a dot, punto es dot. O initial capital, with a dot. All of them are possible. Todas son posibles y todas se las daría correcto, ¿verdad? En caso ustedes intenten. Ok, my dears, you're welcome. Ok, we saw okay. that. Already solved. Resuelto. <laughs> okay, you, let's, you. you're welcome. Okay, let's continue now with the presentation that I have for you tonight because we have a lot of work to do. Okay, no matter that's the previous uh, to the end class, but we have a lot of, of learning yet. Okay, so for tonight, we have the WH questions with ING. So begin with the WH questions in the present continuous. Um, uh, with a question word like this, what, where, why, who, or how? Remember that what is asking for an object, where is asking for a place, why is when you're asking for a reason. So let me mute you, my dears. Lo voy a poner mute para que podamos escuchar. Okay. Who is when we are asking for someone, and how is when we are asking about the manner. So you have to use am, is, or are, plus the ing form of the verb. Remember that we already learned how to properly use the ing. Se recuerdan que ya aprendimos la forma correcta, ¿verdad? De hacer el spelling, la, la forma de la escritura, ¿verdad? Cuando hablamos de spelling, es como la escritura o lo que en español diríamos la ortografía, ¿verdad? So you already know. Usted ya sabe esas reglas. So, WH word, so let me use my super duper spotlight. Okay, what, WH word, what, verb B, what am I saying? So that's the, the correct structure to ask WH questions with ING. WH word plus the verb B in the right conjugation according to the subject and then the ING verb. What am I saying? Where are you going? Who is that girl dancing? When is he coming? Why are you working? Who are you meeting? Meeting? Who are you do, uh, how are you doing? How are you doing? Okay? So those are examples of WH questions with ING. So now we have here um when we have a um, WH word plus verb B plus subject, again, plus the infinitive. En este caso, quiero explicarles acá, infinitive es la forma base del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted vea la fórmula que dice infinitive, se está refiriendo al 
base form, a la forma base, ¿verdad? O como diríamos, al presente. Plus ing. Es the same, es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que les expliqué antes. Solamente que acá quiero explicar lo que es infinity. Ok, who am I reading? What are you, uh, what are you reading? Or when are you speaking? Where is he uh, eating? Why is he crying? Why is it telling? How is she cooking? How are you sleeping? How is, how are we skiing? How are they reading? Okay, just example of combination, right? And remember that at the end you have to write a question mark because we are talking about, we are formulating a question. Okay, again, when we have a WH question with ING but in a negative form, remember that you always have to add the particle not between, in medio de, between the right form of verb B plus the verb with ing. For example, I am not going, you are not doing, he is not seeing, she is not playing, it is not fighting, you are not telling, we are not reading, they are not doing. Okay, not. Okay, here I have uh, again, some examples uh, using the formula subject plus verb B plus verb with ing. In this case, the statement formula is subject plus verb B plus main verb with ing. I am eating. You're crying. He is going. She is arriving. It is sleeping. We are leaving. They are arguing. Yes, no question. Am I eating? Remember that a yes no question is a question that only has two possible answers, yes or no. In this case, we are using the verb be. Am I eating? No. Maybe the, if the answer is no, you say, no, I'm not eating, right? Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. Or yes, I am crying. He, is he going? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Is she arriving? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Isn't. Is, is it sleeping? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Are we leaving? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Are they arguing? Yes, they are. No, we aren't. Again, the WH question structure is WH word plus the right form or right conjugation of verb B plus the subject plus the verb with ing. What am I eating? Why are you crying? Where is he going? When is she arriving? Why is it sleeping? When are we living? Why are they arguing? In the negative, I am not eating, you are not crying, he's not going, she's not arriving, it is not sleeping, we are not living, they are not arguing. So in this chart, you have the, the four possible forms of present continuous in statements, yes, no questions, WH questions, and negatives. Okay, again, just to remind you, the question word plus B plus subject plus the main verb and a modifier, it's another example of, of uh, WH question. What am I doing now? Who are you, we, they, playing football with? Remember that sometimes when we use who, we add the preposition with before the end of the question. Where is he, she, it going? Okay, now, here we have like a short conversation. Where is he standing? Where is he standing? He's standing in front of the movie projector. What are they watching? They're watching a horror movie. Why is he leaving? She's leaving because the movie is too scary. Who are you sitting with? I'm sitting with my friends. Okay, those are examples of uh, questions and answers using WH words. Okay, este es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Cuando ya pasamos de las estructuras a utilizar, ¿verdad? En el día a día. Aquí la pregunta es, where is he standing? ¿A dónde está de pie? 
estamos buscando a alguien, ¿verdad? Una multitud y digo, where is he standing? ¿A dónde está? ¿A dónde está de pie? Excuse me. He's standing in front of the movie projector. Entonces ubico a la persona y le digo, él está de pie enfrente del proyector. What are they watching? ¿Qué están viendo ellos? They are watching a horror movie. Why is he leaving? Asking for a reason, right? Preguntando la razón. ¿Por qué se va ella? ¿O ¿Por qué se está yendo? She's leaving because the movie is too scary. Se está yendo porque la película le da mucho miedo o está muy temerosa. Who are you sitting with? ¿Con quién estás sentado o sentándote? I'm sitting with my friend. Estoy, my friends. Estoy sentándome con mis amigos. Ok, now it's your turn. Now, I have several questions here. For example, why I am, why am I working? What are you eating? When is he traveling? What is he doing? Why is it raining? Who are we meeting? How are they traveling? So what I would like is that you can take a picture of this. I will take a picture and I will send it to the breakout room. And I would like that you can choose two or three of those questions and that you can create a short conversation and you can also provide a possible answer for those questions. Okay? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a escoger eh, dos, tres, incluso cuatro de esas preguntas y vamos a elaborar una mini conversación en donde vamos a proveer también la respuesta, ¿verdad? Uno hace la pregunta, el otro responde. Y así sucesivamente. So the idea is that you can practice the question, the intonation, remember that I, I already taught you last night the intonation, que apliquemos también la entonación, ¿verdad? Recuerde que anoche aprendimos que en la WH questions have falling intonation at the end of the, of the question. ¿Verdad? Anoche aprendimos que las WH question tiene una entonación de falling o de creciente al final de la oración. Y la que se oye más fuerte es la WH. For example, here. Where are you going? Going. Baja, ¿verdad? Why are you opening the window? Window. Baja. When does the museum open? Open. Baja. How often do you play basketball? Basketball. Baja. ¿Ok? So, uh, do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas hasta aquí? No, sure. Okay, excellent. So, now it's your turn to practice. So, let me open the breakout rooms. And it's the time for you to practice. Ok, please join. Por favor, si nos unimos. Hello, Lila, can you hear me? Do you have problem joining the group? Hello. Eh, me salió antes de entrar al grupo. Me sacó ah, antes de entrar al grupo. Me sacó. Vaya, ahorita la vuelvo a ubicar. Uh -huh. Denme un segundito. Ahí le tiene que es estar eso. llegando nuevamente la invitación. My dear Lila, can you hear me? ¿Me puede escuchar, Lila?
Hello, Lila, can you hear me? Oigo, oigo corto, no oigo muy bien, teacher. Ok, está bien, no se preocupe. Si usted se siente más cómoda acá, puede quedarse acá eh, intentando hacer la, la práctica, ¿verdad? Yo voy a estar yendo y viniendo porque tengo que supervisar los, los grupos. Entonces, eh, a menos que usted quiera que intente unirla nuevamente a un grupo. Ok. Ok, eh, ¿le gustaría que la una a un grupo o preferiría quedarse acá trabajando? Voy a intentarla, a ver si puedo. Vaya, si no, lo que puede hacer es que puede mandarles su respuesta por el chat y decirles, chicos, no puedo interactuar, pero les mando mis, mis aportes. ¿verdad? Ok, déjenme ver. Ok, ahí está. Ya le volví a enviar la invitación para que se una. Working, Working porque es uh, porque es trabajo. Okay. Why am I working? Hello, do you have yes, questions, my dear? Working. No, las estamos leyendo ahorita. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to leave you in order that you can decide which is better for you and which do you decide to use for your conversation. Teacher. Okay, tell me. Excuse me. If I if I say uh, why am I working, I have to answer myself. Why am I working? Let's let's suppose that you are in an interview and a person is asking why are you working, and you say why am I oh. working? Uh, because I want to grow up professionally. Mm. Uh, because I like my my job. Because mm. I like my profession. Um, I have to answer myself too. Yes, it's like talking to yourself. Okay, teacher, thank you. Yes, okay, you're welcome. See you. Why is um why is she working too late? Porque ella está trabajando hasta tarde. Sí, se tiene sentido. ¿Entienden? Sí. Ella está en el trabajo, luego con la es en la en la cuarta. Para uh -huh. dar continuidad y forma la primera o respuesta que trabaja hasta tarde. Ajá. Está trabajando hasta tarde. Ajá, why is she working too late? Uh, que sería porque está trabajando. What is she doing? Mm. Sí. Hello, hello, is everything okay? Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? Hello, teacher. Mm. Hello, is everything okay? Eh, 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 yo sí tengo duda con la, una, dos, eh, con la cuarta. Adelante. ¿Qué significa doing? Doing, haciendo. Uh -huh. En este caso, haciendo. Uh -huh. Ajá, sería, what is she doing? Uh, okay. ¿Qué está haciendo ella? ¿Qué está haciendo ella? Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces ustedes podrían ir a dar como por ejemplo, escoger dos o tres de esas y decir, eh, what is she doing? She's working. ¿Verdad? Y pueden preguntar, por ejemplo, where is she working? Uh, she's working in a factory or she's working uh, at home, right? And so on, you, you can start uh, like 
having like a short conversation. Es como escoger dos o tres de estas preguntas para hacer una conversación y la respuesta. Uh, Ajá, okay. o podrían haber dicho eh, why, is, why is it raining? Uh, because we are in the rainy season. Ajá, y decir, por ejemplo, um, what is she doing uh, now? Uh, otra, otra pregunta, ¿verdad? What is she doing now? Um, she's, she's waiting for the rain to stop. Está esperando que la lluvia calme. Um, when is he traveling? He's traveling after the rain stop o algo así, ¿verdad? Para continuar uniendo las piernas. O pueden tomar otras tres y hacerlas diferentes. No es que las cada una, sino no. que debe hacer una... Una conversación. pequeña conversación. Ajá. Uh, de tres de ellas. De tres de ellas. La idea es que cada uh, uno pueda preguntar y responder, ¿verdad? Al menos una vez. Uh, okay. Si una vez lo tomaron de la otra forma, de irle dando respuesta a cada pregunta, it's ok, no hay problema, está bien. Uh, okay, ok, Ok, you're welcome. See you next time. Ok, see you. <laughs> Hello, my dear Elvin. Welcome, bienvenido. Did you have a problem joining the groups? Or are you coming just recently? I, I have problem the connection because of the connection. No, don't, don't, no, no. I don't have group. Okay. Excelente, excellent. Okay, so let me join join you, try to join you again, okay? Voy a tratar de, de unirlo de nuevo. Okay. Let's see. Okay, just try just try to go. Just try to okay. to join again, okay? Okay. Hello, how is it going? ¿Cómo va todo? No, no. Aquí, teacher. <laughs> Diciendo las posibles respuestas. Ok. Ok, remember that you don't have to answer all of the questions. Recuerden que no tenían que responder a todas las preguntas, ¿verdad? You only have to choose like two or three or four and just create like a short conversation about that. But if you already answer, it's ok. Eh, la idea era que hicieran como una conversación cortita escogiendo dos o tres de las preguntas, ¿verdad? Pero si ya respondieron a cada una de ellas, no hay problema, estamos bien. Do you have questions? Ok. Elegimos las primeras cuatro. Okay. Ahí estamos haciendo. Excelente, excelente. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas? No, teacher. No, everything ok. No, Excellent. I'll call you back in a couple of minutes. En un par de minutitos terminamos. Okay. okay. Que, como que no, mejor con esa, ¿verdad? porque la otra es porque. Mira, porque estamos comiendo y trabajando, como que no. Ah, correcto, entonces, pero y, y la otra es, lo, lo entiendo más porque estoy trabajando, no es como, we, we are you working, porque estás trabajando, ahí sí, bueno. 
Hello, may I help you? Hola, hola, les Hello, puedo ayudar. Teacher. Hello. Um, este, con, eh, hay que escoger tres preguntas, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes, you, you have to, to choose three, three questions and pro, try to provide the answer and Ajá. create like a short conversation. Es como escoger tres preguntas para crear una pequeña conversación alrededor de esas tres preguntas and giving the possible mm. answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, no, no questions, right? Eh, solamente esa era la, para, ¿cómo, ¿cómo vamos a, para hacer la, 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 eh, la conversación? Ah, ah ok. Conversación. Ok, excellent. See you in a couple of minutes, ok? Thank you, teacher. Perfect, you're welcome. Thank you. Ajá. ¿Verdad que sí? Sí, sería solo my classmate. Hello, hello. Is everything okay? okay? Do you have questions so far? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Do you have teacher. questions, my dear? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Mm -hmm. Solo nos falta la última, Tisha. Okay. okay, it's okay. You will have one more minute. Okay. okay. Welcome back. We are going to wait just a couple of seconds for people to come back and join us. And then we are going to start uh, sharing what we did in the breakout rooms. Okay, seven people. So we are coming back little by little. Okay. Excellent. We are nine now. Ok, who was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Were you able to participate? At least one question and one answer? ¿Pudieron hacer al menos una pregunta y una respuesta cada uno? Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. So, let me see. Rita, would you like to start with your team? Sharing us what you did in a breakout room? ¿Nos podría compartir Rita y su equipo lo que trabajaron en los breakout rooms? Ok. Please, thank you. Go ahead. Adelante, the mic is yours. Um, digo pregunta y respuesta. Uh, you, can, you can ask uh, someone else and the other person can provide the answer. Usted le okay. puede preguntar a alguien más también si usted quiere. The way you want, como ustedes lo hayan organizado. ¿Quién contesta, chicos? De las que estuvieron conmigo. Yo. Ok. Why, why am I working? Why, I, why eh, am I working? Um, because there I have to play bills. Buy bills. Buy the bills. Uh -huh. What are you eating? Um, um, I am eating chicken. When is he traveling? Mm, uh, he, um, he's traveling in USA. To, he's traveling to the USA. He's traveling to the USA. Yes. But what is she doing? Mm. Uh, she's working. She's working. Okay. 
Uh, what is, why, why is it raining? Uh, because it is winter season. Mm -hmm. Who are we meeting? Um, to my classmate. My classmate. Okay. Okay, don't worry. It's okay. You did a great job by asking and answering almost all the questions. That's okay. Thank you, Patty and Rita. So let me see if we have any other group that uh, would like to participate. Let me see. Maybe um, Kenya? Kenya's team? El equipo de Kenia. Ya, yeah, teacher. Okay. Hey, Kenia. Okay, who was your team? ¿Quién es el equipo de Kenia? Mm, yo, Briselda y René. Okay, okay, you can start. Sí, okay. sorry, teacher, que estoy desde el celular ahora, por eso es que se me okay. dificulta. Ok, don't worry, Kenia. It's ok. Eh, tal vez solo Briselda, Briselda entonces. Eh. Yeah. Ok. Y el compañero, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, nosotros intentamos armar una conversación. Ok. Please, go ahead. Adelante. Show us. Eh, si gusta, eh, Kenia, pregunta y yo respondo. Ok. Ok. Eh, no siguiendo la conversación, sino que la pregunta, Brice. Ajá, el, el número cuatro, comenzamos. Why am, why am working? No, comenzamos con el número cuatro. Ah, yes, yes, sorry, sorry. What is she doing? She's at work. Okay. Oh. De ahí seguíamos. Working. Ajá. Es, de ahí era como una pregunta y respuesta y le pusimos, why is she working too late? Ok. Ok. And who is... No, bueno. ¿Anotaste la respuesta? No anotó la respuesta. No. Ah, ok. Sí, yo no lo noté toda la conversación, teacher, si quieres la leo. Ok, please, go ahead, adelante. Ok, usamos primero el 4 que es, what is she doing? Uh -huh. Y se contestó, she's at work. Ok. And y usamos siempre siguiendo un tema de la conversación, why is she working too late? Uh -huh. Está trabajando tan tarde, uh, because she's over, she has overtime. Aquí teníamos la duda si usar el has o el have. Eh, she has, porque ya ella es eh, simple present, es presente simple. She has okay. to work overtime. O podrían haber dicho, because eh, she's working overtime. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. You want okay. to continue using the present continuous. Ok, ok. okay. And, and next is, what is she eating? Mm -hmm. uh, she's eating dinner. Okay. Aquí teníamos la duda también si, si, si utilizar el at o solo el dinner, eating dinner. Eating dinner. Or, Sí, está bien así. Eating, eating dinner, sí. Eh, porque cuando decimos, eh, what are you going to cook for dinner or what are you going to have? Yes, it's for dinner. Uh -huh. okay. En todo caso, cuando vamos a preguntar qué vamos a comer para la cena, decimos, what are we going to have for dinner or what are you going to eat for dinner? Pero en este caso es eh, solo dinner. Solo dinner. Ok. And uh, who meet with her? And... Solo contestamos her coworkers. Okay. Um, Wes, when is she driving? She driving at home tonight. Okay. And why is it raining? And because we are in winter. Okay. Yes. That's it. Excellent. Very good. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. You did a great job. Thank you. By trying Thank to create a short conversation or answering all the questions. The idea was that you use the WH word to ask a question and also the present continues to give the answer. So, um, because of the time, I won't be able to, to uh, ask all of you to participate uh, because I would like to, we can continue uh, with this yes, no questions. And I would like that you can see the difference, okay? 
Uh, as you know, the, the WH questions are for asking more information, right? But now you need to see and to know that we have yes, no questions with the WH and with the verb, I mean, we have yes, no questions with the verb be and also with the present continuous. For example, here, Sam and Stuart are playing basketball, okay? So this is a statement with the ING or present continuous. Dejamos, verdad, un ratito de lado las WH questions. Ya dijimos que las WH questions son para pedir más información, pero también debemos saber que usamos el presente continuo con preguntas que no son WH questions, sino yes, no questions. For example, here, are Sam and Stuart playing basketball? In here, I just have two possible answers. Yes, they are, or no, they aren't, okay? So, look here, is it raining now? ¿Cómo haría la pregunta? Perdón, esa es una, eh, vean que hice una mala entonación. Lo hice como pregunta, pero no es una pregunta, es una afirmación. Es, it's raining now. Si yo hago la pregunta, vean por qué la entonación es tan importante. Me di cuenta que, que lo estaba entonando como pregunta y no era pregunta. Ahora, si yo hago la pregunta, ¿cómo me quedaría? Is it? Is it raining now? Ahí okay. sí. Y le doy la intonation, ¿verdad? The right intonation. Ok, y, y la respuesta de, de yes, ¿cómo me quedaría? Yes. Yes. Yes, it is, ¿verdad? Yes, it is. Utilizo el subject pronoun que tengo acá. Por el tiempo no lo vamos a ir llenando porque tengo otro ejercicio que también me interesa que lo veamos. Y la negative, no, ¿verdad? No, it isn't. It isn't. O it is not, ¿verdad? It is not. Ok, let's see. The number three. Susan is doing her homework. Susan is doing her homework. ¿Cómo me quedaría la, la pregunta, the question? What is Susan doing? Si fuera con WH, eh, what is Susan doing? Exacto. Pero como es una yes, no question, le damos vuelta, ¿verdad? Ponemos el verb be al principio y decimos... Is it, Susan doing her homework? Is Susan doing her homework? Ajá. Entonces, vean, eh, lo que quiero que noten es justo la diferencia, ¿verdad? Y, y gracias a Milcar por traerlo, porque lo que a Milcar hizo es una WH question. Ahí estoy preguntando información, más información. What is Susan doing? ¿Qué está haciendo Susan? Pero cuando es una yes, no question, solo pregunto. Eh, is, is Susan doing her homework? La possible answer, yes, she is. She is. O la negative. No, she isn't. No, no she, she isn't. Is. Okay, very good. Now let's see. The train is arriving now. So how it should be the, the answer? ¿Cómo podría ser la respuesta? Perdón, la pregunta, the question. Is the train is arriving now? Is the train arriving now? Y con intonation, ¿verdad? Decreciente. Is the train arriving now? Possible answers, yes. It is. Yes. It is. It is. Ajá, porque estamos hablando del tren, the train. Entonces utilizamos it, ¿verdad? O no. No, it is. It is. Ok, excellent. Very good. So now, let's work with this exercise. And I want you to please try to uh, write. Ahora vamos a hacer algo, vamos a ver si nos queda un poquito de tiempo. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. You have to uh, provide the question, the possible answer, but also create a yes, no question. I would like that you can take a picture. Me gustaría que le puedan tomar una imagen. I already did it. I will send it to you. Ya lo hice, se las estoy enviando. Pero si usted le puede tomar una, mejor, ¿verdad? Okay, so what we are going to do. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? You have to elaborate the question. Vamos a elaborar la pregunta, ¿verdad? Las posibles respuestas de sí o no, pero también vamos a hacer una WH question. Por ejemplo, voy a hacer otra, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí. Eh, vamos a retomar la que, la que nos dijo Amilka. Susan is doing her homework. ¿Y Susan doing her homework? Esa es la yes no question, pero una WH question, ¿cómo me quedaría? Teacher. 
what is Susan doing, ¿verdad? Adelante, amigo. Sí, lo puede bajar un poquito más, por favor, para tomarle. Ampli por... Ampliarlo, con gusto. Eh, bajarlo un poquito o ampliarlo, sí, gracias. Permítame, denme un segundo, ahorita lo bajo. Uy, lo que pasa es que si lo bajo, mm -hmm. solo me llega hasta el número 8, pero está bien, hagamos las que podamos. Ok, veamos ahorita. No, sí. La, las primeras, quería decir, no, no las tengo. La ah, primera, ok, pero, ahorita, ajá, ahorita. Eso quería ahora. decir, perdón. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a uh -huh. Ahí está. Ay, gracias. Se quiere esta, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. Ok, ahí, there it is, ahí está. Gracias. Ok, so let me send you five minutes. Vamos a ir los siguientes cinco minutos al breakout room. I'm going to stop sharing. And I would like that you can try. Tratemos, ¿verdad? De, de ponerle la, la question, la pregunta. Ya sabemos que la yes no question es bien fácil. Y tratemos de pensar, si fuera una WH question, ¿cómo me quedaría? ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo, cómo la haría? Ok. Please join. A ver, nos unimos. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Ok. Please try. Tratemos.
Hello. Hello. Everything okay? Mr. Steven is washing the dishes. Dishes. Uh -huh. Is Mr. Steven uh, washing the dishes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, yes. He is? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. He is or no, he, he isn't? Or no, he's not? <laughs> Dishes, 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 Hello, welcome back. Who was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? Were you able to find one or two possible answers? ¿Pudimos encontrar un par de respuestas? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, who would like to say at least one? ¿A quién le gustaría decir por lo menos una? Vamos a ver de los otros equipos que no, de los equipos que no habían participado. Vamos a ver. Let's see, let's see. Veamos, veamos. Le vamos a pedir a maybe Francisco. No sé si Francisco, creo que Francisco no había participado. Can you hear us, Francisco? ¿Nos puede escuchar? Yes, teacher. Okay, would you like to read uh, one that you elaborated in your group? Uh, number five. Okay. Mr. Dysmatics are a study for a test. Uh, are my classmates a student for a test? Okay, that's the question, right? Mm -hmm. Are my classmates studying for a test? Okay. Yes. Yes, they are or no, they are not. Excellent, Francisco. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. Amilcar, would you like to read number six? Amilcar, can you hear us? Great teacher. Okay, would you like to read number six? Number six. Mr. Steven is washing dishes. Mm -hmm. Is Mr. Steven washing the dishes? Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay, thank you, Amilcar. Let's see, Ricardo Cerritos. Would you like to help us with number seven, Ricardo? Okay. Mm -hmm. The question mm -hmm. Is your cat eating the food? Mm -hmm. Yes. It is. Uh -huh. No, it, it, it isn't. Okay, excellent, Ricardo. Thank you. 
Now, let's Thank see, you. veamos cómo nos quedaría, voy a tratar de hacer yo la WH question. Veamos, para el number five, eh, podríamos haber dicho, ¿verdad? Who is, who, are, eh, who is studying for a test? Right? Esa podría haber sido una, ¿verdad? Utilizando who, o podríamos haber preguntado, what are my classmates doing? ¿Qué están haciendo mis compañeros, verdad? They are studying for a test. En yeah. la number seven podríamos haber dito, dicho, excuse me, who is washing the dishes? O podríamos haber preguntado, what is Mr. Stevens doing? Okay. Eh, number seven podríamos haber dicho, eh, what is, is it eating? El gato, ¿verdad? Or what is the cat eating? O podríamos haber dicho, eh, Why? excuse me, perdón, me escuché. O podríamos haber dicho, eh, who is eating the food, right? The cat, right? The cat is eating the food. Okay, very good, my dears. Because of the time, I'm going to stop here. I hope that everything is clear regarding to WH uh, word questions with ING and present continuous or ING yes, no questions, okay? I hope to see you here tomorrow in order that we can study our last class. Uh, half of the class is going to be uh, like a final uh, closure of the platform and uh, to have uh, answers to any doubt or question you may have from the knowledge checks. And in the second part, we are going to solve the final exam. We're not solve at all, but just watch the key points, okay? Okay. Okay, good night. Okay. Have a nice night. Good night, night. 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 night.